we start recording? Yeah, well, we can make this our intro. Okay. We literally just walked up to the creek right by where we parked. We're in West Virginia visiting her dad, and we decided to take a day to come fish. Um, this stream should be holding native brook trout and wild rainbows. So we're gonna see if we can get into either of those. Yeah. And, uh, this first hole was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And um, it's January 3rd, and last year we were in Virginia, where my dad used to live also, he moved. But, um, and we were catching brookies then too, native brookies. This is so, so pretty. Look at those trees in the background. I'm obsessed. First cast in the hole. Beautiful wild bow. Day two, fishing conditions are better and Nick just caught a little a wild bow. I saw fish. <laughs> Nick just had another hookup. The water looks gorgeous. It's about 11.45-ish, I think. 11.48. <laughs> oh, it's like 30 degrees out. <laughs> Yeah, the rubber net would have been nice. <laughs> Next time I'll have one though, they're not that bad. We just were in such a rush. They had like nothing we needed. Fish, oh my gosh. That's amazing. Brookie. Nice little brookie. Always wet your hands before handling these fish. And then you get a hook in you like I just did. <laughs> Made a little brookie. That brookie surprisingly took the single egg. Um, we didn't get a close up shot of that, but we didn't want to fool around with the net just because it'll get all tangled up with these small fish. But a quick release is a good release. So it's all right. That's insane. Those fish were, that brookie was really colored up. It was healthy. So cool. That was a pretty good sized brookie. Yeah, it was not bad. The way it hit was like, it crushed it. I think I got the hook up too. I've been recording for like three minutes before. So that's pretty cool. Another fish. That's a brookie. That's, yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Look at the colors in there. Is that a 
That's a fat one. <laughs> That is one of the prettiest rookies I've ever seen in my life. Look at those fins on that fish. They're orange. They're orange. Full spawning colors. A ridiculous amount of spots on that fish. Beautiful. <laughs> Yep, fish. Oh, that was a brookie. Yep. So we just got down to this next hole. Um, I re-rigged a little bit. Um, so what I'm running, I was running a yarn indicator, a split shot down to a swivel, and an egg and a nymph. But um, because it's so cold, the yarn indicator started freezing when it got wet. So I switched up to this styrofoam indicator. It won't freeze looks pretty good so we can add more weight if we need to get down into some of these deeper pools more weight than the yarn indicator will support so uh, basically what we're doing is we're just finding deep pools like this and we're going to come down from the back and approach it from the back and fish upstream of this pool that way we can pick off fish down here without spooking the fish up here and then we'll fish that main home and uh, because I got first dibs in the last hole I'm going to let Mel take the first couple casts in this hole so Here's Mel's first fish of the trip. She hooked a couple but I've never caught a wild bow. This is my first wild bow. First wild rainbow. In what? a native brookie stream. Yep. <laughs> Quite a bit later and we're trying the first hole again. So we're sneaking up to it. <laughs> Mel got a na nice native brookie here. 